Hello everyone and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode we set up some more auto crafting in the system so we can keep everything running top notch here. And in this episode I am going to want to expand our crafting CPU options that we have available to us. So I want three more. So I just need to check what exactly I'm going to need. So redstone, definitely. That's it. I just need redstone. So I'm just going to go straight out into the caves and fortune three, some redstone. Okay, mining is complete. I've gotten a whole bunch of redstone here. Will hopefully be enough. Do what I need. So 64k, I want three of them. Uh, it's in the middle of doing something. See, this is why we need more. The exact reason why we need more. So three of them start. So then what, what else did we need? So crafting units, we're going to need nine of these. So we need some gold logic processors. Which we're going to need to wait for all of this to sort through because it's going to be crafting its own. Yeah, I think this thing's taken it up, taken up all of it. Oh god, it's going to need to go through and grow seeds and everything. Right, well, I do need some logic processors. And this should be it just finishing up now. There we go. So now I can do, oh yeah, I made upgrades for the thing. But now I can move on and make, so I need a, I need a lot of these, these things. Let's just go make 51 of them. Missing 36. Ah, uh, I kind of need to let this thing go off and do its thing. Let's go get some sand for it. But this will just be stacks and stacks of sand just automatically going in the system. So all I need to do is pop up for a breath every now and then. And that will be plenty of sand that I won't, it won't, it won't have to grind down all the cobblestone all the time just to get the sand now. If we have a look in there, yeah, 562 sand already. Okay, so I carried on collecting sand for a bit, and if we look in here, it's almost 3,000 sand I've got in here. So these guys should be building up, hopefully. <laughs> Crafting two of them right now. It's going to take a little while to go back and forth between them. If I use up this stuff, maybe maybe a stack of each isn't enough. Maybe I should be filling up a whole interface full of them just to keep them in stock. Okay, I just went mining for a bit as well just to help build up the stock of it. So we're fine now. We've got quite a bit of it, I think. Yeah. Ah, decent amount. Right, so anyway, back to what I was doing. So I need nine of these. And then three of them need to go with the 64K crafting components. Then we need the co-processors. And then the monitors. Boom. So this one I'm going to set to automation only. These two can be... Oh, didn't mean to press that button. These two can be either or and this one I'm gonna move oh that got picked up by the system I think what's it called crafting something coprocessor okay oh and then this one players only so players only both both automation only that will help keep on top of everything I think so much crafting 
What's even in here? Oh, I have random bits in here. I didn't even realize I had. That would have been useful to know about those engineering processes. Don't need this anymore. I don't know why I'm trying to mine it with a pickaxe. It's gone in the system anyway. Okay, perfect. Look at all this. Four crafting CPUs. We're going to be able to smash through crafting processes now. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to set up some, some auto smelting. Every time I put an ore into the system, it automatically smelts it into its ingots. And the best way to do that is with a pulverizer, because that will get the best outcome. It will put take three of the, it will take two of these, sorry, and give out three ingots. That is the best way of doing it. So now I need to get into this mod here and make all these bits. Looks like it requires a lot of plates here, so I'm going to definitely need a hammer. Have I got a hammer in here? I have. I've got a couple. So copper plates, let's just start by making a few of them. Why can't I just hammer that? Oh, I need an industrial revolution hammer apparently. It's fine, I'll use one of them. I don't know how many I need, let's just make 12 I suppose. And then for the battery I need tin ones. Oh, I don't have any tin left. So I've oh, god damn it. I used up all my tin. One second. Okay, tin has been gathered. So now I just need to... I've got a, quite a decent amount of it. Just need to hammer it down. Oh yeah, look at it. Going up there. Let's try and catch it. There we go. Let's get another 12 or 13 of them. So that's for the battery. Alright, so I'll make one of them. Then machine block, iron plates. Okay, I need another hammer. Mark one circuit, we need gold plates. Okay, got that. The battery done, machine block done. Boom, pulverizing unit. That was nice and easy. So I'm going to stick it here and it will come in. We'll add an input on the furnace. Does this have an auto output? First of all, it needs energy. Have I got any more of these cables left? Do. Okay, so we have energy. The temperature is going up. Is that going to be a problem? Do we have to worry about it exploding? I don't want to have to worry about it exploding. Do I have on my claims chunks? Do I have... Where's my claim... Oh, it's up here. Do I have settings enabled to stop explosions? I don't think that's an option at the moment. All right, okay. Please don't explode my stuff. I can get a cooler in. Is that it? Cooler cell? Coolant buckets? Or do I just put a fan in? Tin plates, let's put a fan in. So I need an export bus then. Or a storage bus. So wait, does this have auto input and output? That's what I need to figure out first. It doesn't look like it, at least not at this level. Don't break, don't break. Okay, we're fine. Pulverizer. So I need to set stuff to go into my inventory. Right, then I think I just might go simple with hoppers actually, all the way. But even on here. Uh, no, I don't think I will. Where did that go?
Where did my pulverizer just go? If I have to make another one of those. Oh, I'm going to have to make another one, aren't I? Where the hell is it? Is it in my inventory somewhere? And I just I can't see it. Oh, bear with me. Pulverizer. It's not in there. Right, let's do this again. Need more tin plates. So, God knows where that went. More iron plates. That'll just about do it. Okay. So, then I need some sort of item conduit. That's a fluid pipe. Item pipe. That's nice and easy to make. Okay, nickelite ingots I don't have. But the mark one I can make. Oh, if I had gold. Nuggets. Okay, so how... Oh, God. How do I get this to work? I'm assuming I need some type of wrench. There are two types. Oh no, they're different. So I'm doing the Industrial Revolution at the moment. That's this one. Copper plates. I didn't have enough copper plates. Sorry, I had another hammer. Right, so I want to extract. No, 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 no. Huh. Now, wait a second. There's the pulverizer. God damn it, I wasted that for nothing. Why was it in there? Ugh. Okay, well, I don't know how to auto extract. This is a weird mod. Output servo. That's got to be it. That's what I need. Figuring, th figuring things out as I go. So it looks like this mod's a mix of like mechanism and thermal expansion mods by the looks of it. Right, output there. That's just what we need. So, for example, if we're to get some raw iron in here. That's going to cook very slowly. That's fine. I can get a speed enhancer. If I just get this coolant bucket. Right, that's going to take some time to do that. Okay, and then those get cooked very quickly in there. So we're going to need a rather large chest for all of this stuff. So I'll put a chest here. Uh, where's my wrench? Turn that bit off, and then we'll get another one here with another out output servo, and then we need an exporter. Do we have bigger exporters in this? Uh, don't think so. No. And we put an exporter on this. Oh god, it's going to need upgrades. Capacity card. Right, so I need a bunch of capacity cards. And then we should be able to hook these up. Oh, okay, I've got max upgrades in there, that's fine. Okay, so that's going slow. So I think I need the stack upgrade. No, maybe just the acceleration one. I think I have a spare acceleration card. There we go. So that's filling up nice and quick. Although it's not extracting any more iron to go in there. Can we not put things in the back? 
and that temperature is rising. Oh, the cooler broke. Is that going to be need to be something we constantly fight with? Making fans. It was tin tin plates, I think. I don't want to have to constantly be struggling with fans for this thing. I just wanted a nice, simple. I only got one. Cool down. Don't get too hot. So what is there like a coolant upgrade then? Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything that cools it down more. I just hope it doesn't explode. I just want to know why items aren't going in. There we go. I think it just needs to go in the side there. Right, but that's that will slowly work through all of my ores very, very slowly. At least I've got nice upgrades in here, so it just chows through it once it gets in there. Okay, I've just looked a bit into the, doing the fluid infuser to get some upgrades here, but I think for now we'll just have to leave that. So we need to get an infuser first of all to get these ingots. So maybe we'll do that in the next episode. But thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.